um, this is the uh, ideal system that is utilized. Now, um, when you look at, let me see, whoop, the wind, the wind, the wind, the wind. I gotta watch out for the deceptive wind that whips, loves to destroy umbrellas in Florida. I know probably in other places too. When these kind of uh, rain comes by, the winds get, the umbrellas can get destroyed by the wind. But finna get it going. Now, this ideal is the system that Satan needs conducted on the earth to keep the kingdom of darkness uh, not darkness to continue. It needs this ideal of the system of Cain. And that's first is competitive. Now I was meditating, you know, and I'm, you know, I'm kind of looking at these games, you know, uh, uh, they got on, you know, you can get on the, uh, the bias war. It's always about war. You know what I'm saying? You know, war, battleship, uh, uh, war, you know, all kind of war games they got on uh, um, the app store and stuff like that. I noticed how much they got all these war games. Well, interesting about the idea of how though, how wars are started, you know, starts up, but you know, that someone, you know, it, it starts when, first of all, a country is established, you know, a country is is developed you know what i'm saying somebody start a country and they start a country and you know you got a people and you know now the people get this disagreement you know oh how, how satan is i told people that satan's nickname is against you know what i'm saying and the whole idea is mr against no mr against that's what his name mr against his whole idea as what jesus uh, told his strategy in Matthew 24 is to get people against each other. But the only way you can get people against each other is that they feel make the other person as what well. we know the story of Cain. Let me talk about the story of Cain. Story of Cain that you know Cain and Abel was put in charge of giving Jesus an offering every seven years. You know what I'm saying? And the interesting about that every seven years is kind of like the pattern of the sabbatic, so the Sabbath, the, or the sabbatical year. You know what I'm saying? That you hear about in Bible prophecy. It's the same pattern of the days that uh, Cain and Abel uh, had to give an offering to uh, God. And it's the sabbatical cycle, pretty much. And all of a sudden, this year, this certain year, uh, Cain, I mean, Abel gave a, you know, good offering to God, you know, a lamb sacrifice, foretelling, you know, Jesus Christ. And then uh, Cain, which is a tiller, or more likely a farmer, gave, uh, gave a offering, but God did not accept his offering. See, God did not accept Cain's offering. And Cain, in this situation that, you know, God didn't accept his offering, he came to... Now, here's the thing. It came, it, you know, Cain's condition, pretty much, of how he handled the, more likely, the disappointment of not executing what he is supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? Cain... In his condition of the situation, he was frustrated. Well, we, if we was in that situation, we we're supposed to be in a state of frustrated that we did not execute what we were supposed to do unto God. You know what I'm saying? Unto God, we were supposed to follow God's commandments. It's what the ideal is supposed to be emphasis of this situation. And the thing is, you know, that's what we're supposed to be looking at. But here's, unfortunately, I believe Satan was influenced by Satan concerning the situation that, you know, of, you know, oh, no, I, uh-oh, here comes the wind. Oh, no, I, I, um, I, uh, 
I mean, I, Cain says, oh, no, I get, didn't give God his offering. Now Satan is more likely, because here's the thing about the idea of, you know, because Adam and Eve ate from the fruit tree, uh, the firstborn, Satan has more likely divine permission to influence the firstborn, you know? You get the first. And he, Satan used his uh, permission to influence Cain to uh, uh, influence Cain to, um, it's, it's, his, it's your brother's fault. You know, your brother thinks he's better than you. You know what I'm saying? And that's the ideal of, hold on y'all. That's the ideal of what he used concerning uh, to sway Cain, to motivate Cain to do, to, you know, kill his brother. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, but here's what logic is supposed to do. You know, is the ideal is that we're supposed to work together. You know, all things work together. If the brother, you know, would have, to me, humbled himself and says, you know what, I made a mistake. I didn't put the right offering, you know, to, uh, I didn't give a right offering, you know, to God. I'm finna ask my brother, you know, hey, how can I be more consistent? Give him tips to be more consistent of putting, giving God a better offering, you know? How to be consistent of giving better offerings unto God. That's what should be the humble approach that Cain, if Cain was influenced by God, he would have humbled himself. Well, Cain, you know, you, you know, you made a mistake. Sorry, you made a mistake, but next time, you know, you can give me a better offering next time, you know? But he didn't took it like that, took it like that because we know, pretty much know that Satan has influenced Cain. But Satan influenced Cain to make Cain believe that his brother was giving an, a better offering because he was trying to get, be, he was trying to be better than you. Let me say that. He, he, he was trying to, uh, uh, give a better offering because he's trying to be better than you. You know what I'm saying? And you shouldn't let your brother be better than you. You know what I'm saying? And and more likely he thinks he's better than you. You know? Say, so, well, Mac, how do you know that Cain? Uh, I mean, well, Satan told Cain this. Well, the act that was performed. You know what I'm saying? That Cain, you know, felt less of himself. So he uh, felt that he had to, he was in a competition now with his brother Abel to compete to be better than him. There's the, I, the C, compete. And now watch this, the ignorance. The ignorance is pretty much what, you know, I tell people the spiritual darkness is the ideal of ignorance. I mean, it's the ideal system of ignoring what else, everything else, everything else, like ignoring the idea of Cain, he's your brother, you know. Um, and Cain, you uh, didn't, you know, give the uh, better offering. It's not Abel's fault. It's Cain, it's your fault that you didn't give God a better offering. You know what I'm saying? That's the, the, the reality of the situation. It's not Cain's fault, I mean, it's not Abel's fault that you gave a bad offering. It's your fault. You didn't prepare the proper uh, offering right. So you need to, what, what's that thing called? Take responsibility of your actions and be honest with yourself. And if you need help, ask God or ask Abel for, uh, to figure, like I said, to learn how to be more consistent every seven years to put out a better offering. Um, and now you ignore that uh, ideal of vice, but now you do the nonsense. There's the nonsense, the end at the end of Cain. The nonsense happened, you know, you kill your brother, you kill your flesh and blood, you know what I'm saying? And, and it, it led, this nonsense led to killing his brother. And what you don't, you know, understand this, this is how the world system is operated. Uh, it talks about, I think um, John talks about in 1 John about Cain. He mentions Cain. Jude mentions the ideal of Cain. And uh, uh, certain sources mention Cain 
in the Bible. And when it talks about Cain, it, when they talk about Cain, they're really talking about the spirit of Cain. You know what I'm saying? The spirit of Cain that is about competition, that we look at each other, that we think we're supposed to be better than each other. You know what I'm saying? We're, the ideal is to be better than the other person if you want to be somebody. And that's the world system is how it's uh, run by. It's not about, well, just if someone is less, not better than you, ask for help to be good at what you're doing. Because here's the thing that I want to get out of this video, that we here to live to, with one another. And guess what? Everybody will have something bad about, good about them and bad about them. Everybody will have the strengths and everybody will have weaknesses. And the thing is, if we truly in want to be in a harmony with each other, to be with each other, we should will be, we will, we will be driven to whatever. If someone make a mistake, we will be trying to help that person. And, 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 and if we make a mistake, we should be yielding ourselves to want to be helped, you know what I'm saying? In order for us to continually live and succeed in life should be the protocol of every human being in the world. If we truly, sincerely want to live with each other, like, you know, this system, the system of the world concerning what businesses and schools and anything that's out there is made it's it's all about competition it's all about competing to be the better the better student the better worker the better business the better but the better whatever or you know like you know you you dress up and you look good try to look better than someone you know and you know you they have competitions and you know sports who's the better team and and it's all a better system about being better than the other person it's really uh, all what it's all about concerning this world system. That is a competition. It's not sincerely trying to help another person improve about improve to be a better person, be better at what they're doing, so they will learn how to um, succeed and accomplish things in life, and to have a better life. You know what I'm saying? It's not about that. That's the ideal of Abel. You know what I'm saying? Abel just did, Abel just was just doing what the Word of God says. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't trying to be better than his brother, but he was busy focusing on obeying God. You know what I'm saying? But Cain, unfortunately, was influenced by Satan, believed that, oh, you know, your brother is trying to be, compete and be better than you and stuff like that. But not even the case at all concerning the situation and because he believed that he felt lesser than the other than his brother so he felt that he had to be better than his brother and kill him and the thing is that's not the ideal of how life is supposed to go to try to be in this competition and operate in this ignorance concerning the situation and proceed nonsense you know based upon believing it you know what I'm saying? That is going on this day that you need to be aware of about this behavior happening concerning of how we're supposed to live with each other. Thank you. No problem. Live with each other. Uh, you got it? Yeah, thank you. All right. Yeah, it's trying to get the will. Uh, live with each other and the thing is we need to be aware of this and, and here's the thing we're supposed to guys of course love one another if we love one another help one another to accomplish and achieve the goals and fulfill their purpose genesis 126 made in the image and the likeness of god to have god to dwell in them we were supposed to fulfill the the most important ultimate purpose of our life to, for god to be dwelled inside of us because he created us and we can only exist because of him is supposed to be the ultimate goal. And whatever we do in life, we trying to become successful at something, we will help each other to be succeed and to build relationships with each other and do better. It's what's supposed to be the agenda of pretty much life. It's not supposed to be about a competition. How y'all doing? Hey guys. All right. Stay dry. All right. A competition that we're supposed to be in. We're supposed to just try to be sincerely trying to make things right and better for everyone else. That Cain was supposed to be about, but get out of the competition 
You know what I'm saying? Be about helping each other succeed. And that's the message. Copy glory here forever in Jesus' name.